know, it's been said that artists create a painting out of the deepest part of their own dreams and memories. And I think the Cinderella painting is really about the dreams of childhood. I entitled my painting Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream because unlike Pinocchio who wished upon a star, this movie is about dreams, about the most incredible, wondrous dream of all, which is to live happily ever after. The central song for Cinderella is a dream is a wish your heart makes. And Cinderella is really daydreaming about a world that she probably will never attain. Walt Disney is quoted as saying that his favorite moment in all his films is that moment when Cinderella's dress is transformed. Uh, because this moment symbolizes empowerment. In the painting, I conceive of Cinderella's transitions in life as being a bridge. In fact, this painting pays tribute to many of my most popular works from the past. The bridge suggests my painting Bridge of Faith, and I wanted that bridge to symbolize Cinderella's faith-filled transformation. Uh, you know, she believed in herself. There's a lot of fun details in the painting. Of course, I had to bring into the painting all those wonderful mice, those playful characters who rescue Cinderella and help keep the plot moving. I created the lover's reflecting pool as a way to bring more light into the lower part of the composition. I also had fun putting the mice on board the lily pads that are growing here and there around the pond. In the lower right, we see the nemesis of the mice. And of course, this is the playfully benign and yet a little bit evil cat uh, whose name is Lucifer. And of course, he is very selfish and always uh, looking after himself. I conceived of the idea of a walkway as though you could walk from the house that Cinderella grew up in and was imprisoned in, in a manner of speaking, and walk down the pathway and follow the stone steps that lead you into the village below. Of course, the village is filled with tiny details that allows your eye to wander and explore. We see Cinderella's coach, which is making its way down the castle road, frozen in time, and it remains that beautiful a uh, timeless coach that everyone would dream of riding in. And then eventually we follow the road up to the castle itself. In my Disney Dreams paintings, I'm always hiding elements. In this painting, we have the hidden mice. Uh, there's mice everywhere uh, in this painting. And I also had fun with the birds. I liked putting the birds in because they're Cinderella's helpers in the movie and help her fashion her dress. I like fashioning characters in unexpected ways. Of course, the king and the duke are very important characters in the story because they conceive of the ball that will help the prince to find his ideal princess. So we see them refashioned as terracotta chimney pots. Of course, they're very happy at the scene of Cinderella walking hand in hand with the prince. I knew I needed to present the stepmother and the two stepsisters. And of course, in the movie, they are portrayed as malevolent and uh, almost evil. In my painting, I softened these characters a little. I feel that a Thomas Kincaid painting has to be a very happy place. And so even when there are characters that lend drama to the story, I like to soften them a little and make them a little less mean as I was working on the painting, I came up with the idea of a stone statue in the lower right. This is fashioned after classic sculptures. It's a symbol of the drudgery of Cinderella. She has broken out of the stony imprisonment of her very barren life in this servitude to the stepmother. And instead, now she is flourishing, and the sparkling light on her dress is very symbolic of her life, which has bloomed 
like the many flowers that you see in the composition. Cinderella's miracle was possible because of her fairy godmother, and I love the character of the fairy godmother. We don't really know what she is. Is she an angel? Is she a pixie? Is she, like Tinkerbell, a fairy of some sort? Uh, we, we just know that she appears to make everything okay in the life of Cinderella. Because she's such a mysterious persona, I wanted to fashion her in my painting as a very elusive vision. Uh, she is seen riding atop this splendid rainbow that is arching over the sky. I love blending time frames in a painting, and it would be hard to tell exactly what time of day is portrayed. Of course, the clock says a moment or two before 12, but we are not sure if perhaps the clock has stopped or perhaps this is a wondrous, magical moment where the lighting conditions defy definition. The stars are out, we see them glistening, but is that simply the glitter of pixie dust that we see? As we dim the lights on the painting, we see the special radiance that is present in the Cinderella painting. There is a glow because of the cool tones I worked in the back parts of the sky and in the foreground that allows those lit areas to really radiate as the lights come down. Cinderella Wishes Upon a Dream is the most detailed and time-consuming painting I have yet put my brush to. This is a very complex composition involving different what I call spatial boxes. In other words, there is this deep space that emerges on the right-hand side of the composition as our eye wanders back into this brightly lit area where the beautiful manor house that Cinderella lived in is portrayed. At the left of the composition, we have the castle looming over the composition uh, with great detail. The sky is one of the most complex I've ever attempted. And in the distance, we look out to the horizon and see the river flowing off into the distance. In portraying this painting, I'm really creating a new vision of the world in which Cinderella lives. I wanted the sense that we could almost envision that Cinderella and the prince had walked up those stone steps and perhaps lingered a moment or two on the observational platform that we see behind them. They stood there and looked out at the kingdom, not just of their earthly realm, but the kingdom of the imagination, which is the very heart of Cinderella. Cinderella stories are inspiring because we all dream of achieving something that goes against the odds. I think this painting was worth all the hours, the countless hundreds of hours that went into it, and all the effort and the passion that I poured into this painting to push the detail level to this extent uh, was worth it when I realized that all of us in our own way have a Cinderella story to tell. We all have many uh, moments in our life when we know that God has truly touched us and blessed us far beyond what we deserve. That, to me, is a Cinderella story. It's a dream that your heart makes, and sometimes those dreams really do come true. Believe the dream.